In this work, we exploit the image prior of a generative model, namely deep generative prior, for versatile image restoration and manipulation. Various image priors have been proposed for image restoration, like total variation, bug channel prior, and Markov range field. These priors often capture certain statistics of images and serve a dedicated purpose. Recently, deep learning models are used as stronger image priors, like deep image prior and SYNGAN. These deep models allow more restoration like in painting and super resolution, but still have gap towards a more general image prior. For example, they cannot recover the color of a gray image. There are also works that use GAN as a prior for image processing. We will show that our method allows more diverse effects and achieves more precise reconstruction. It is known that a generative adversarial network trained on large-scale images is a good approximator for nature image manifold. Thus, our goal in this work is to explore how we could exploit the generic image prior of GAN for image restoration and manipulation. Given a degraded target image, which is obtained from an unknown nature image by applying a degradation transform, like green transform, in order to recover the nature image, we view the image manifold captured by GAN as an approximated nature image space and search for the image that matches the target image in the degraded image space. Thanks to the image prior of GAN, the restored image would have a nature looking. We name this image prior as deep generative prior. Here we show the pipeline, given a degraded image obtained from some unknown nature image. We view the degraded image as a partial observation of the original nature image and reconstruct it in the observation space with a GAN. The image prior of the GAN would tend to restore the missing semantics like color to match nature image. This process is also known as GAN inversion. However, conventional GAN inversion methods only optimize the latent vector and often have large mismatch for real complex target images. This is because the GAN cannot perfectly capture the full image manifold due to limited model capacity or mode collapse. To address this issue, in this work we jointly optimize the latent vector and GAN parameters. This relaxed GAN inversion achieves much more precise reconstruction. Since the generator is fine-tuned, a standard loss like MSC loss or perceptual loss could wipe out the original image prior and the reconstruction process is blur and unnatural. Unlike perceptual loss that uses a VGG net trained from a third task, in this work we use the discriminator as a distance matrix. Note that the generator is trained in couple with the discriminator during pre-training. The discriminator naturally serves as a good distance matrix for the generator and is more likely to preserve the generator's property. So we use the L1 distance in the discriminator feature space as the distance matrix. With the discriminator loss, the reconstruction process is more natural and looks like image morphing, and the restored results are more accurate. However, fine-tuning all parameters of the generator simultaneously could cause the information lingering artifacts, where the missing information like color does not shift along with the content during reconstruction as shown in the red circle. This is because the deep layers of the generator start to match low-level textures before high-level configurations are aligned. To address this issue, we propose a progressive reconstruction strategy, which is to fine-tune the generator gradually from shallow layers to deep layers. This allows the reconstruction to start with matching high-level configurations and then gradually shift its focus to low-level details. With the progressive reconstruction, the artifacts are removed and the restoration results are more realistic, showing that the image prior is better preserved. Here we show another example. Our final results have a more natural reconstruction process. The original pineapple in the image moves to the right, and the left one gradually emerges. And finally, the color restored is natural without artifacts. 
we apply our method on several image restoration tasks, including colorization, inpainting, super resolution, and adversarial defense. These tasks differ in the degradation transforms. We use Big Bang trained on ImageNet training set as a model and evaluate on the validation set. For each image, we initialize the latent vector by selecting the nearest neighbor of the target image from 500 random samples. To begin with, we compare with other GAN inversion methods for image restoration. Conventional GAN inversion methods suffer from obvious mismatch, while for our method, the reconstruction error is almost visually imperceptible. Here are the colorization, inpainting, and super-resolution results. Our method is obviously better than its counterparts like Deep Image Prior and other GAN inversion methods. Our quantitative results also perform the best among these tasks. This is the animated demo showing the reconstruction process in these image restoration tasks. Despite the mismatch at the beginning, they finally match the target image and restore the missing semantics. Here we show more qualitative examples. Our method achieves high-quality restoration across animals, objects, and things. Our method generalizes to out-of-domain images. Here show some examples, like images from a non-ImageNet category or from a different dataset. The two window examples show that deep generative prior is pretty good at filling the missing patches in harmony with the context. Our method also allows more flexible restoration, like conditional colorization and hybrid restoration. We also use deep generative prior to remove the adversarial perturbation for adversarial defense. Our method effectively removes most perturbations and significantly improves the classification accuracy. As our improved GAN inversion method maps the target image to the GAN image manifold, it immediately allows image manipulation by shifting the latent vector in the latent space, which corresponds to manipulating the contents of the image. For example, after reconstructing the target image, we could add random noise to the latent vector to achieve random jittering effects. The image content would shift in diverse and reasonable ways. For image morphing, we have two target images, which would produce two different generators and latent vectors after reconstruction. Therefore, we interpolate between both the generators and the latent vectors, resulting in a series of generators and latent vectors. These generators and latent vectors would produce the interpolated images. Here the bird is shifting in a natural way, as if it starts to fly from the tree branch. Here we show more image morphing results. As the big GAN we use is a conditional GAN, we can transfer the reconstructed image to other categories by changing the input plus condition. Here shows category transfer results for birds and dogs, where the animal pose, size, and image configurations are left unchanged. This demo shows the image reconstruction process and the image manipulation effects after reconstruction. Our method allows the generative property of GAN to be applied to real complex images. To our knowledge, it is the first time that these effects are achieved on the ImageNet dataset. Here shows some challenging cases where our method fails, such as when there are multiple different objects or small human faces in the image. You are welcome to use our code on GitHub. Thanks for listening.